we're always talking about doing practice trades and how important they are. I have found over the last several months that fewer and fewer online brokerage firms are actually offering the public the ability to have a free virtual trading platform. So we are using a great fallback. I even hesitate to call it a fallback because it is freestockcharts.com and their paid service TC2000. Remember, we have available for all of our daily market review subscribers, and you can subscribe for free at chartingwealth.com. We send you the instructions in every email that goes out how to set up on your computer, and we give you our layout, which is what you see on the right-hand side of the screen. It's actually bigger on the screen, but I've reduced the size. That's the beautiful thing. Everything is customizable for you at freestockcharts.com and TC2000. And what I've done is I've reduced the size of it because I wanted to show you over on the right-hand side of the page how you can set up your own platform and you can actually set up practice trades and how to do them. I have all the different stocks I've loaded in here, everything from top ETFs to top stocks. These are things that I can check on throughout the day. I've also set up, and you just go to the new area and you put in, like I've done here, trades, and I have it blank right now. I also set up using add columns once I set up the new platform is I went in and I put in symbol, and again, you pick those from add, and of course, symbol column, which is what I did to begin with, followed by entry price, followed by number of shares, positive, negative, profit, loss, and entry date. And here's how easy it is. Say that I want to do a purchase and do a practice trade of QQQ, and I want to enter it right now. It's about 351. I go to add symbols, I put in QQQ, and all of a sudden it populates the price at 351 on the 29th of May and 100 shares. Now, if you want to change that to 1,000 shares, to 1,500 shares, you can do whatever you want. The nice thing about keeping it at 100 or 1,000 is that it's much easier to track how well you've done percentage-wise, but it will actually set up percentages for you. You can also change the date on it at any time, or you can just delete it. But we're going to add that right now. It's just that easy. And in fact, when you open a practice trade, whether it's up or down, now remember, we might want to, hey, if the Qs was going down, we might want to get into an inverse trade. How do you do that? Well, it's just as easy. You go to add symbol, and if I remember correctly, QID is the ProShares Ultra Short QQQ. You can add that. And of course, that's an inverse trade, and that moves in the opposite. So it's going down, of course, now as the Qs is going up, the NASDAQ 100 is going up. This is an inverse of that, a double inverse, if I remember correctly. And what's going on there is it, again, is going down, and you can track again whichever way you want to of what's going on in the market. So if you wanted to short, you could put in a short fund, or if you just wanted to short the Qs, you can just put it in and just keep track of how much it actually goes down. And of course, when you want to get rid of things, it's just as easy to clear it out by removing it. And this is beautiful. So this will help you as you fill out your daily market worksheet every day. You can see what your profits and uh, losses are throughout the day, at the end of every day, as you enter trades and exit trades. It is, again, a way for you to do virtual trades using nothing but your freestockcharts.com or your TC2000 trading platform. Now, I would encourage you, if you're serious about trading, you need to go ahead and sign up for TC2000. That is the paid service. And of course, if you look on your daily market review email that you receive every day, we typically have it bolded. It's a few paragraphs down, but we give you $25 off when you sign up for the paid TC2000 service. I do have people all the time that use different kind of trading platforms and ask me about what kind of numbers do you use, the PPO and the 
exponential moving average and such. Well, they actually are all listed on our charts for our price percent oscillator. We use 1024. We use the eight period moving average. We have 50 period moving average lines, 200 period moving average. Those are exponential. And we also have the settings for our Bollinger Bands. We also have the settings for our derivative oscillator at 14, 5, 3, and 9. But of course, if you are a subscriber to freestockcharts.com or TC2000, you can just load the charts that we send you for free. We have the links there in the email you get. It is just that easy. We do all this stuff for you. When you have questions, problems, concerns, we love to hear from you. You can always write us cw at chartingwealth.com. Thank you so much for your support, for listening to us every day. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, particularly YouTube subscribers. That is one place where we always put up everything in addition to emailing it to you directly for all of our special subscribers for free at chartingwealth.com. God bless all the best from the whole team here at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.